Hey guys, so for today I'm rocking my 90s Jennifer Aniston look. Because <laughs> um, I can't wear this dress at school without a shirt underneath it. So every time I wear a shirt under a dress, I'm like, ah, oh, 90s vibes, love it. And yesterday's video, I was wearing something that looked like it was straight out of like maybe the 1800s, early 1900s, cottage cottage core. <laughs> love trying to do different past looks, vintage looks, retro looks, all of my favorite. So hello, sensitive souls. If you clicked on this video, welcome. I love you already. <laughs> you're my people. And if you clicked on this video and you're not sensitive, well, maybe it will help you understand some of the sensitive people in your life because surely you have at least one family member, one friend, one coworker, one random barista at the coffee shop you frequent that is sensitive and you might be going, why are they that way? Why can't they just be tough and get over it? <laughs> um, so this is for everybody, but especially the message is for my sensitive souls so you know you're not alone and that you're beautiful and that you're here for such a time as this. So I'm Rebecca Pebble, and I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of new people on this one, I don't know why, but maybe not. <laughs> so I wanted to introduce myself. Um, my channel is just all about things that I wanna talk about, basically. Um, so let me give you some context why I'm thinking of this topic. So I am a public school, middle school, uh, special education teacher. So I'm in the trenches every day. <laughs> <laughs> um, and as you can imagine, as someone that's highly sensitive, it's not easy. But yesterday, a coworker was showing me a letter that a student had written her. She's one of the students on my caseload because I'm a special education teacher. I have a certain roster of students um, that I provide services for. So I know this student, and she's in a really dark headspace. Um, uh, she doesn't, I mean... I guess trigger warning, right? Uh, she doesn't want to be alive. And um, I've seen her write this in her journal. Very, very sad. I get a lot of students like this. It's very, very sad. And so she wrote the teacher a note because apparently the teacher was crying one day. She saw her. She felt bad. And so her whole note was like this empathetic uh, outpouring of love saying, I, I don't like seeing people cry. It breaks my heart. I want you to be happy. You're a beautiful teacher. All these things. It was so beautiful. So I started crying. <laughs> and um, one of my coworkers like, I didn't realize how sensitive you are. <laughs> like, really? How do people not pick up on this? Um, and it made me think, because I've been told my whole life, I'm too sensitive. All the things, right? You're sensitive. You're too sensitive. Suck it up. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Stop caring so much all of it. But I feel like God made me and God made you this way for a reason. Just like he made a turtle with a shell and he made birds with wings and fish with gills. They're just, you're made for your purpose. And I think for a lot of us, we're meant to feel so we can help. So I can help that teacher, that student, right? The only problem is we feel it all. So I'm not, when I'm going to work, you get this, right? When you're at work, if you're, unless you're working remotely, I'm feeling what my students are feeling and they're in middle school. They're feeling all the feelings intensely all the time. <laughs> I'm feeling what the teachers are feeling and they are super stressed out. Let me tell you, that's an understatement. I'm feeling what, if the parents come for meetings, I'm feeling what they're feeling and the administrators, what they're feeling and then what I'm feeling and I'm just absorbing like a sponge. And so it's taken me a long time and I'm still working on it and I'm still, uh, I haven't mastered this yet, to create this sort of energetic shield because we are all vibrating at a certain frequency. We are all emitting an energy. And even if people want to deny it, well, how's that scientific? I think they've, science has done studies on this sort of thing. I mean, I think it comes down to like quantum mechanics if you look it up, they talk about particles affecting other particles uh, from a distance. It's like called spooky action, spooky something in action. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. <laughs> I should have looked this up. But they've, if you look into quantum physics, there is a whole world that we're not acknowledging just because it's not tied into our sense of vision, right? Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Think of the wind. It's there. We see the effects of the wind, but we don't see the wind itself, right? So... Same with energy. Think about when somebody walks in a room and they're just, you just know they're in a good mood. They're emitting that energy. They can shift the energy of the room 
They can shift how you feel. It's powerful. Same with somebody who's down in the dumps. They can bring everybody else down with them if they wanted to. But that's where we as sensitive souls have to protect ourselves, protect our energy, because it is so valuable. It is like gold in this spiritual uh, realm. <laughs> so if you shut off your eyes and you just look through spiritually, if you're a sensitive soul, you are very valuable because you're able to move through the world differently. You're able to discern. My discernment as of late has gotten so heightened, it's insane. And I can't deny it. You may be the same way. You might have a bad feeling about someone or something and you just can't shake it and you can't be around that person or you can't be in that place. Sorry, I just can't. <laughs> it's crazy. It's getting to the point where things that are just before were, you know, semi-tolerable are now intolerable because I can discern it's not for my highest good or anyone's highest good. So it's important we protect that energy because it is gold. And I don't want you to try and mitigate or lessen your superpower because that's what it is. We all have superpowers. If you're a sensitive soul, it's just one of yours. You have many. Um, and so I think the world wants us to dim it down because guess what? We'd be easier to manipulate if we did. <laughs> but we're not. We're, we are wise as serpents and soft as doves. Like we are moving through the world with kindness and love, but also with discernment and wisdom. We're not going to be fooled. So that's what you have to do. You have to walk this fine tightrope, this fine line <clears throat> of being kind, but not getting stepped on like a doormat. Because usually if you're highly sensitive, you're a people pleaser and you let people walk all over you and it's taken me a long time to figure out I was doing that and how not to do that. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. If you get a chance, I would read the book called Boundaries or listen to it, which is what I did on YouTube. You can look for the audio book and it should be on here. Um, but that, I bet, if you haven't read it before, you will be like, oh my gosh, how do they know me and my life? <laughs> um, it's just beautiful for sensitive souls because I think that's something that we can practice. So I want to hear from you. What is your experience like being a sensitive soul, especially in this time where everyone's in such a weird headspace, so we feel it too? <laughs> so if you're going through something, it just exacerbates or worsens what you're going through because you're absorbing other people's stuff. But we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. We can help people without absorbing their darkness and their bad energy. Um, again, took me a long time to realize that because I thought, oh, I need to be down in the pit with my friend in the pit or my mom in the pit. You know, it was always family members just like, I need to be in there codependent with them. No, because then you're both in the pit. You need to be the one that's solid in your energy and you can help them from there. Easier said than done. <laughs> but I will wrap this up. I just want you to know you're not alone and what you're doing is beautiful and perfect. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Believe in yourself, believe in your superpowers, use them for good. And go out and just take over the world in the best way possible, which is through love and peace and kindness. I love you all, wishing you a wonderful day. I probably forgot some stuff in there to talk about, but I can always do a part two, but um, I'm sure you guys will spark some interesting discussions. Thank you all so much for subscribing, liking, watching, commenting. I appreciate all of you. I can't wait to do my live when I reach a thousand subscribers. It's gonna be fun. Um, and really chat with you guys in real time. But I, I love you all so much. Thank you, especially those of you that comment uh, regularly. Um, Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate your time. Your time is so valuable. So the fact that you spend it with me means the world. So have a beautiful day, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.